Hi, Carsten. We're here to talk about true multiple sourcing. What does that mean? Multiple sourcing in Noah, I guess, that has become a basically a standard in the industry due to the difficulties that everybody had in the last year with getting the materials to what they wanted. But if you buy power modules from vendor A or B, then very often you find the same chip inside. So that is not really multiple source, if you will. So what we now do is uh, we partnered up with Rome. Well, actually, it's one of our long-term partners already. And we use their brand new RGA IGBT. That's a new chip. And we put that into our power modules. And by that, we are able to offer a, an alternative solution to customers from the module down to the chip. So you have the choice then, the complete choice. And that is, that's what we call true multiple sourcing. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, are there then particular markets we're looking to address with this? Um, yes, if you look at the specs of the Rome chip, then it's quite clear that it's targeting on the, on the motor drives market. It, it's very close or very almost compatible to the uh, Gen 7 IGBTs that we see on the market today, which are also mainly made for motor drives. So yes, that's the target market, the motor drives. Okay. What about the compatibility of this module? Well, I, I said it's widely compatible. Widely means the most of the aspects are the same. So you can run it at the same junction temperature. 150 degree continuously, no problem. 175 degree intermittently, also no problem. And that's similar to IGBT-7. You can also run it with the same drivers. So you don't have to touch the gate voltages. If you have today a design of minus 8 to plus 15 volt, you just take that and go. Mm -hmm. The only thing that you have to adjust are the gate resistors to get to the switching speed that you want it to be at. Well, sounds good. And are there any other benefits that this chip brings with it? Yes, sure. So the RGA, Rome RGA, has um, a slightly optimized chip area. And by that, the thermal resistance is reduced. Following that, it runs cooler compared with a Gen 7 IGBT. And uh, that means in the end, in your application, in your drive, you can either reduce the airflow, that is one option. You could also take the same design, same airflow and squeeze out more power out of that drive. That's another one. So you have different options that you, of benefits that you can utilize from that uh, new chip. So Carsten, I'm guessing here, this gives us a bit of a clue as to which products is going to be available in. Exactly, that's right. So what you see here is the Miniskip, our famous Miniskip. That is by far the most successful product that we have in the drives market. And then it's pretty natural that we start here with a new Rome RGA chip. We put it first in the Miniskip, but that's not the end. We will also put it in the Semitop E1, E2, as you see them here. And by that, we will have then a pretty good offering for motor drives. The range will be uh, 10 to 150 amps. So it's more the lower power range, but it will be a really good alternative for these kind of drives. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for joining us, Carsten. Thank you.